They're snatching John Brennan's national security clearance. We begin tonight with a chilling action taken by the President of the United States that looks something like something you might see out of a dicta dictatorship or authoritarian regime. Trump is under fire for Nixonian enemies list tactics. Those are the accusations of at least one former FBI official after the White House is publicly admitting that it is retaliating against former CIA Director John Brennan. Joining us now is the host of CRTV's Levin TV, the host of Life, Liberty, Levin, Sunday night right here on the Fox News Channel, number one in his slot. I call him the great one, Mark Levin. Mark, we have never had a former communist who literally we now know spread Russian lies to Right. disinform, propagandize the American people to impact a uh, presidential election either. Uh, these are unprecedented times. Let's see if we can unravel this from the fabulously stupid Omarosa media. First of all, apparently the fact that Brennan voted for a Stalinist who was funded by the Soviets, the Communist Party USA, was very attractive to Barack Obama who made him CIA director. Think about that. So how did this man ever get a security clearance? I'm curious about this. Now, a couple of things. The president is looking at Brennan. He revokes his security clearance. Professor Dershowitz needs to know that's a privilege. That's not a right of security oh, no. uh, uh, privilege. No, no, the fact no. of the matter is nobody's stopping Brennan from speaking. In fact, nobody could stop. He has a big mouth. He will never shut up. He'll go on TV and be the kook that he is. The idea that he has a right to access to information because he served in the Obama administration at the CIA is a preposterous argument, but of course the ACLU will take up the case because they take up a lot of stupid cases. That's number one. Number two, who else is the president looking at? Comey. And people who are keeping score, Comey is a Republican. How many times have the media told us, Mueller's a Republican, Comey's a Republican, and even they questioned the president, okay, he got a Republican. And by the way, for the media, most of these people the president are looking at are white. I know that's very important to you. Now, Comey was fired at the recommendation of Rosenstein. Comey was a leaker, and he absconded with government documents when he left. His security clearance should be pulled. McCabe is under criminal investigation. The number two from the FBI. Never before in history, media, his security clearance should be pulled. Peter Stroke was just fired the guy in charge of counterintelligence investigations for misconduct. His security should be pulled. James Clapper committed perjury. He lied to the American people and Senator Wyden and that committee long time ago. His security clearance should have been pulled. Bruce Orr, another one. Pulled. Yates, another one. Not because the president has a problem with Democrats or liberals. He has a problem with these people. And we haven't even gotten to the unmasking issue yet. So this is not a First Amendment issue. Meanwhile, meanwhile, when these people had security clearances, what the hell did they do with them? Well, let's take a look. The Russians interfered in our election, right? Well, who was president? Who was head of the CIA? Who was national security advisor? Who was the head of the FBI? All these people, with their security clearances, in positions of power, did nothing effective to stop the Russians from interfering in our election. They did nothing to stop China from stealing our technology. They did nothing to stop North Korea's nuclear program. And even worse, they awarded the Islamo, uh, hold it, Mark, the terrorist regime in Tehran <laughs> with $150 billion. Right, right. right. $150 billion. Right. And provided them with a pathway to nuclear, to nuclear arms. Good job, boys and girls. In right. The Obama administration with your security clearances. The fact that Obama appointed these people and gave them security clearances is not the obligation of this president to let them retain their security clearances. Absolutely. It's a constitutional issue. That's just nonsense. And again, one of them's a Republican, so that makes this all okay. Mark, I take away all their clearances. I take away all their clearances too, but the fact of the matter is we really need to focus in on the conduct of these individuals. Look at the phony media and the arguments they're making. This is like a dictatorship. This is, this is, a, we've never seen anything like this before. All these blabbermouths who know nothing. You're going to see Clapper on TV till you throw up on your loafers. You're going to see <laughs> Comey, he had his book thing. You're going to see Brennan all over the place, all these phony victims and so forth and so on. Meanwhile, when they were in office, 
when they had their security clearances, when they had power, they didn't stop the Russians, they didn't stop the Red Chinese, right. they didn't stop the North Koreans, right. they funded the Iranians, and in fact, right. they are responsible for the greatest scandal in American history you by interfering right. with our election and trying to undermine the Preach Trump it, campaign. brother! Preach it! Trump presidency. Um, I think I'm going to remember... I don't know who this and, guy uh, is, but I give him a hug. But more importantly, that's why we call you the great one. Uh, great commentary. Mark Levin, thank you. Don't thank forget, you. Mark Show, Life, Liberty, Levin, every Sunday night, 10 p.m., number one in the time slot, right here on the Fox News Channel. When we come back, former CIA operative Daniel Hoffman, well, he's been very outspoken in his criticism of John Brennan and Sebastian Gorka. Next. My goodness. Talk about laying it on the line. Woo! Era of online retail, where everything is just a few clicks away.